What's up, students? My name is Mr. Lan. I'm Mrs. Ennis. And I'm Miss Cote. Today we're learning how to do the Elephant Toothpaste Lab, and uh, no, toothpaste accessories not required. What is required, though, is going to be listed below, or you can reach out to me on social media at HowTo's. Make sure to subscribe below, hit that notification button if you want to find the actual worksheet to do with your students. Remember, safety is key, but for the most part, this experiment is pretty safe. You can use safety goggles and gloves, of course, because this experiment does get a little hot, hint, hint. But when you're doing cleanup, just make sure to be careful. Wash your hands real good so you don't have any skin irritation. Students, make sure to listen to your teachers and whatever safety protocols they set forth at your school and have fun. Some basic materials and chemicals you're gonna need for this experiment include dish soap, food coloring, hydrogen peroxide at 30%, some potassium iodide, or you can use sodium iodide. You're gonna want some beakers, graduated cylinders, Erlenmeyer flasks, some different containers that'll make this toothpaste experiment a little bit more fun, and you can vary that with your students. You're gonna wanna make sure you have some DI water so that you can create your own solutions. We chose to do a five to one ratio of our solution. It's not gonna matter too much if you change up that ratio, but what will help is a more concentrated solution of your potassium iodide or your sodium iodide. Couple pro tips, when doing this experiment, Experiment, it's a good idea to either do this outside or lay down some trash bags that have been cut open and tape some trash bags to your ceiling. It's definitely gonna make cleanup a lot easier for you. With the dish soap, you're gonna wanna swirl it so that it gets on the edges of your containers. It'll just help the reaction. Have fun with your students. Have them make great qualitative observations and enjoy our experiment. Some things to consider and maybe some things to ask your students during this experiment is what do you expect to see? What do you all think is gonna happen when we combine this chemical and this chemical? Do you think the food coloring actually does anything? And what do you think is gonna happen if we change up the shape or size of the flask or container that we use? And students, as you're doing this experiment, what are some things that you are observing, whether qualitative or quantitative? How long is the reaction going for? How long did it take for the reaction to actually start bubbling and going up? Do you see smoke and how long does that last for? Those are some examples of quantitative data. For qualitative, what are some things that you see visually? Maybe you smell, you hear, maybe you even feel. What's a catalyst and what does it actually do? What are the different types of reaction? And specifically, what's a decomposition reaction? And is any part of this process an endothermic reaction? Like when you're creating your potassium iodide solution, does it feel hot or does it feel cold as you're mixing your flask? And then when you do your actual elephant toothpaste experiment, combining all of your different chemicals, your dish soaps, your food coloring, <laughs> what actually happens in that reaction? Do you see smoke? And what does that smoke actually mean? Remember to be descriptive, use complete sentences, and I hope you guys enjoy this experiment because this is one of my personal favorites from when I was in chemistry in high school. There are tons of great resources about this experiment. There are also tons of great YouTube videos done out there. Mark Rober, Jimmy Kimmel, even David Dobrik have some really awesome elephant toothpaste experiments for you guys to check out. If you're looking to recreate this experiment, remember the instructions are listed below along with materials and how much of each thing that you need. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to find out when our next video comes out. And if you enjoyed this one, make sure to share this with a chemistry, science, teacher, or student friend that needs to learn about elephant toothpaste.